In this video, I want to go over a web browser known as the Ungoogled Chromium web browser. Now, if you've ever used Google Chrome, and a lot of people have, that's the most popular browser in the world, or the Chromium browser, which is basically Google Chrome, the open source version of it, they're very similar, then you'll be familiar with the Ungoogled Chromium. Now, Ungoogled Chromium can be installed on a Windows, Mac, and Linux operating system. Since I'm using Ubuntu Mate 20.04.3, the long-term support, I will be showing you how to install it on a Linux system. But I will show you the links for you Windows and Mac users where you can download the installation file. Let's first take a look at the web page that I have to show you what Ungoogle Chromium is and how to install it on your system. Now Ungoogle Chromium is a free and open source Chromium based browser increase, that increases your privacy by removing the Google Web Services dependencies from the browser. So if you don't like all the features of Google Chrome where it, it tracks you online and keeps up with all those Google Chrome features then this Ungoogle Chromium has all the Google features removed from the browser just where you're using the Chrome browser without all those Chrome features so you're not going to be able to type in the URL and use Google to search that's one of the features that's removed you can go in there and re-add features but I don't recommend to add the Google features since that's removing the Google features from the browser but let me first show you how to install Google Chromium if you have Chromium on your system I recommend to remove it before installing ungoogled Chromium because Chromium as you can see here is basically the same browser but stripped down version of the browser so it could conflict on your system and I have seen that happen so I do recommend removing Chromium before installing the ungoogle Chromium now I will be using I'm not very I don't like to show how to install snap versions because like Linux Mint users don't have snap which they can install it on their system they can set it up to install it but some people don't like using snaps I will be showing you because the snap version from what I've tried seemed to be the best version for installing it on Ubuntu and it also can be installed on Fedora, Debian and other major Linux distributions so if you're using another Linux system that doesn't install by dev packages like Fedora this will also work on that system as well if you'd prefer to download the actual installation file you can click here and it will take you to the downloads for the ungoogle chromium which you can go to the github page you can download the app image if you are app image user if you're using arch linux you can download the installation for that the debian ubuntu users has an older version but they can install the portable versions or they can use the app image or use the snap to get the most current version now as you can see the most current version is version 91 of ungoogle chromium whereas the i'm using chrome here if you go and look at the most current version of chromium or chrome it's 93 but if you go and look at this stable version of 93 if you take a look at all the stuff that was added a lot of these are the google features so ungoogle chromium don't update as often as chrome because chrome a lot of times updates and modifies the chrome features so don't think because ungoogle chromium is not staying up with the same version numbers that it's less stable you know a lot of these features that you might see here are not even in on Google Chromium so there's no need to change or modify th something that's been removed so they will update it more often by the snap package so if you'd like a preferable uh, kind of a newer type of or one that updates on its own then you I recommend to install the snap version whereas here's the Windows 62 64 bit and 32 bit the uh, Mac system so you can download the download the installation file for those operating systems here you can go to the github web page and on the github web page it will tell you basically the files that make it up it gives you a little bit more about on google chromium their objectives content their motivation and philosophy a feature overview the key features and I did copy and paste and give credit to this website where it talks about all the things that are disabled from the Google domain such as your Google host detector your Google URL tracker your Google cloud messaging Google hot warding and so on and so forth so the features of Google have been stripped down from this so if you go and look that gives you a little bit more uh, of the key features on, the, on Google Chromium. Here's some of the enhanced features, some of the things that you find within on Google Chromium that you really wouldn't find in Google Chrome itself. And here's some borrowed features that they borrowed from other uh, web browsers like the Iridium browser and they put within on Google Chromium. Here's other supports other platforms. Here's where you can download the binary files. Android, so if you're using Android, uh, Arch, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora and CentOS, Gentoo, Mac OS, 
flat pack users can get it at this location and here's more information about the source code and other builds so that you get links to get the multiple types of installation and since there are multiple types of installation I'm going to focus on the one which is the snap installed if you don't have snap on your system you can click this link and this will show you how you can set up your system for installing snap packages software on your system so I do have a link for showing you how to set up your system so that this will work now the first thing you do is you open up your terminal and you copy and paste this command here just copy paste it into your terminal press the enter or return key put in your password and it will go out and get the the files needed to install it on your system now it says you may also install by clicking the green install button here at the Snapcraft. So I do have a link where you can click this installation button within your browser and it should install on Google Chromium on your system. So this is the one click installation if you don't like using the terminal. So I'll close this and once it installs it will look like this and I have this on my website because I did cat screen capture the first time I opened it. So once it finishes it will tell you snap install on Google Chromium that version installed it enabled snap sandbox if you download it like some of the the binary files it may install it without the sandbox so the first time you open on Google Chromium you might get a little drop down error saying that it doesn't have sandbox but you can close that out and it still works if you don't like that little message popping up then install it by the method I'm showing here because it does include an enable sandbox on Google Chromium installation success meaning that it installed successfully on the system which means it put it within my menus I go to applications internet and as you can see there's on Google Chromium if for some reason it's not within your menu then reboot your system and it should appear in your menu the first time you open it it will look like this so when you it will show a little web store if you click and go to the web store the install file buttons will be missing because the web store is controlled by Google and that's a Google feature that has been removed from on Google Chromium that doesn't mean you can't install the extensions from the web store on the Google Chromium on Google Chromium browser you can simply copy this right here you can take and copy this URL go into your Bing put this not within your Bing within your browser on Google Chromium I was looking at Bing on my URL bar paste that and that will take you to where your extensions another way you can access it is going to your settings and once you go to settings click extension and that takes you to the same location so you have two ways of getting here I've already installed and these extensions work great uh, as you can see here when I go to my home screen this uh, uBlock starts blocking the ads that would normally show up down here and within these little uh, thumbnails that are showing up so it's blocking ads as I'm speaking so they do work and they do work great notice that they have a little orange box which means that they were not installed from the Chrome web store so I do have a link on my website that you can click which is this link here that is Chrome CRX for Chrome which basically if you go into the Chrome web store and you look for an extension that you like copy and paste that put it here and search for it and you can install an extension uh, manually from this website they will have it instructions on the website but I will going to illustrate how to install a uh, an example up here let's say for example that we used the the mega online storage within our browser for school purposes I like to install a lot of that when I taught sixth grade science and other subjects in the past I'd like to store because it was a large storage device as you can see it, it keeps them updated these are not old extension this was updated on September the 10th 2021 and at the time of making this video it's September the 14th so these are current extensions don't think just because you're getting them from another third-party website that they're old it's actually the same extension from the Chrome Web Store that's updated that's been put on this website so let me copy this link and I'm gonna show you from the ungoogled Chromium how you download I'm gonna say paste it here and it's going to give you some links here where you can download it. I'm going to download this one. So I click onto it, and it's only an 8 megabyte file, so it only don't take a long time to download. And as you can see, it's downloading. It says apps, extensions, and user scripts cannot be added from this website. Well, they can. Uh, as you can see here, that's the name. It doesn't show you mega here, so if you're downloading a lot of extensions, you might want to, after you install them, install them one at a time and delete them, so that way you won't confuse which ones you've already have installed, since they use random alphabets at the beginning and then their website at the end. So let me say show in browser. That's the extension, but before I install it, let me close this out, let me close this out, let me close this out. I'm going to leave this one open. 
I'm going to close this out and I'm going to close the Bing tab. Now normally you won't see any extensions if you have installed it for the first time. It'll just be blank. I recommend turning on the developer mode. Uh, that way you make sure that it will install and work. And what you want to do is kind of minimize your, bra your file manager. You scroll down to where the file is that you downloaded pull it over and it says drop and install so when you drop it it will ask you add mega say add extension and it says mega has been added to chromium because see it thinks it's chromium that's why I said uninstall chromium so that the ungoogled chromium will not conflict it when I close it out it will disappear now to make it appear on the bar if you've ever used chromium or chrome you know to click the little puzzle link there's the mega I can pin it to the bar and there it is so if I wanted to log in and put things in my mega folder I would then click that and then log into it and it would take me to my mega so as you can see here these are the extensions I now have installed so once you if you want to remove something that you've installed let's say for example the secure cloud storage and chat from mega if I didn't want that I realize oh I installed the wrong one it's easy to remove you can go in details and go down here at the bottom and say remove the extension or you can actually go through and turn off and on features within the extension here or you can simply just click the remove button and it's saying do you want to remove it and you can remove that extension from the ungoogle chromium website so ungoogle chromium basically looks and works similar to google chrome so i'm not going to spend a lot of time going through and explaining how to use it because if i look here and click on the menu that's the settings in the menu that you see within the settings if I go back to ungoogle chromium let me click my home button if I go click here it's basically the same thing so I don't really have to go and show you the features because if you've ever used chrome or chromium you should be familiar with the the features of the chrome and chromium it's just that all the Google features are not working so if you're using ungoogle chromium and you're familiar with a Google feature and it's not working don't think it's broken that's the way it's designed like when I click here it's not gonna really want to take me to log into a Google website because these features like I said has been removed so if I go to search for something like if I put new cars it's not going to use Google Chrome so it can't reach because it's been removed so this actually puts in a website rather than using it as a search URL so that's where you can set up your home page to use whatever browser now this is the Microsoft Bing browser but if I wanted to go and use like DuckDuckGo or any other search engine I could type that or I could bookmark it so you could change whatever so if I took this link from my my actual personal web page close this out paste it here well, I don't even think I copied it but if I go look and say learn Ubuntu Mate I'm going to use the Bing engine by what's here. Uh, here's the Learn Ubuntu Mate website, and I had several other ones. I could go back to where my browsers are. I could click on Google Chromium, and that way I'm back at the site. As you can see here, it works exactly as the way Google Chromium and uh, Chrome works. It even works with YouTube. Now I can say since there's not really a lot of features within it in extensions, when you go to YouTube by using the uBlock Origin and Popper Blocker, if I go to YouTube, it won't show those ads that it normally would. You know, when you go to YouTube, I can now click on, and I don't know why it's showing all these uh, explicit, not really bad, but you can click on any of the the links that you see here and it should start the video and it shouldn't have any ads within those so if I go like to the new Boston over here click on a video and click on one of his videos it shouldn't show an ad before it starts showing the video it should remove them because the uBlock extension works just as it does on Google Chrome and Chromium now if you want some more of the key features as I said there's the key features that I copied from on that website you can go back and read more about that so if you like Google Chrome or Chromium but you don't like all the the spying that Google Chrome or Chrome do, Google does on your Chrome browser or Chromium browser I recommend installing on Google Chrome if you don't like the fact that it's behind the times it might not be for you but remember not everything that's updated with Google Chrome and Chromium are security features you know a lot of times it's Chrome features and those Chrome features don't really need to be installed so don't really panic just because this is on version 91 whereas Chrome is on version 93 they do update these and you can go to the snap web store 
look at the history so that they do modify and update it when there are key security features that affects the ungoogled chromium so hopefully this has given you a little understanding of what ungoogled chromium is and how to install it on a linux system and where links are that you can install it on a windows and mac system as well hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day